Hi, welcome to the podcast for When the Curves Line Up for June 29, 2024, featuring a parade of morning planets and the moon before sunrise. Please see the article that includes diagrams of today's events on the website at whenthecurveslineup.com. Text by Jeffrey L. Hunt. In Chicago, sunrise occurs at 5.19 a.m. Central Daylight Time followed by sunset at 8.30 p.m. Here is today's planet forecast. In the morning sky. The planets and moon parade in the eastern sky before sunrise. Five planets are in the sky from east-northeast to the south-southeast. An hour before sunrise, Jupiter, Mars, the Moon, and Saturn are visible. Start with bright Jupiter nearly 10 degrees above the east-northeast horizon. It is in front of Taurus, appearing higher in the sky each morning with the Jovian giant. Mars, marching eastward in front of Aries, is over 20 degrees to Jupiter's upper right and nearly 25 degrees above the east horizon. The red planet overtakes Jupiter on August 14, when the planetary pair is higher in the eastern sky. Mars passed Saturn on April 10 and the gap between them is over 55 degrees. The ringed wonder, slowing to begin the illusion of retrograde tomorrow is less than halfway up in the south-southeast and over 25 degrees to the upper right of the thick crescent moon. Uranus and Neptune are in the region, but they are washed out by morning twilight. Uranus is less than halfway from Mars to Jupiter, while Neptune is less than midway from Saturn to the lunar crescent. Uranus is slowly moving eastward in front of Taurus near the Pleiades. It is in the same binocular field with the cluster until their solar conjunction in 2027. It is overtaken by Mars on July 15. In the evening sky. No bright planets are easily visible after sundown. Venus, setting about 30 minutes after the sun, is immersed in bright evening twilight. Mercury appears farther from the Sun each evening for the next three weeks, but it dims as well. At 45 minutes after sundown, the planet is about 4 degrees up in the west-northwest. Use a binocular to see it. During the evening, three of the 20 brightest stars visible to mid-northern latitude sky watchers mark the plane of the solar system. During this morning's display there are no bright signposts, although Aldebaran soon appears in the east-northeast below Jupiter. This evening, Regulus, Spica, and Antares are those celestial markers that identify where to find the planets, if the worlds were present. The moon passes near these stars during its monthly trek. At one hour after sundown, Regulus, Leo's brightest star, is 20 degrees up in the west. It is the brightest star closest to the ecliptic. Spica, part of Virgo, is over 30 degrees above the south-southwest horizon, and over 50 degrees to Regulus East. The star is 2 degrees below the ecliptic. Venus passes by on September 17. Antares, the Scorpion's brightest star, is about 20 degrees up in the south-southeast over 45 degrees east of Spica. The star is nearly 5 degrees south of the ecliptic. The planets do not have close conjunctions with the star, but it is in range of the moon's orbital path. Moon Antares occultations are occurring each month for sky watchers across Earth. Next month stellar eclipse is visible for sky watchers in Africa. The three stars span nearly 100 degrees along the ecliptic. Aldebaran is the next bright ecliptic star, 180 degrees from Antares. It rises nearly 45 minutes after the Scorpion's brightest star sets. Dimmer stars are in the gap, but a dark sky, free from outdoor lighting, or a binocular is needed to track the planet's changes against the starry background. The region between Aldebaran and Antares, Sagittarius, Capricornus, Aquarius, and Pisces, is without one of the milestones on the brightest stars list, though this year three planets are in the region. Thank you for listening. Please read the articles at whenthecurveslineup.com.